Buster Blader is a warrior who specializes in slaying dragons, as evidenced by a special effect, gains 500 attack for each dragon type monster on the opponent's field or in their grave. He is literally THE dragon slayer, not to mention a fine craftsman using the remains from the dragons he's bested in battle. His motive was to become the strongest warrior alive, and to do that, he needed to slay the most dangerous foes in order to prove himself, as the dragons in the land do have reputation for being unbeatable by most humans. But, once he got the hang of it, he decided to seek more foes, whether it be dragon or not. Over the many countless fights, Buster Blader would eventually be known as the Destruction Swordmaster. Not only has he honed his swordsmanship, but also his craftsmanship as well. He studies whoever he's killed and uses the remains to craft new weaponry that would be effective against that race. During one of his insane missions to slay a dragon, he actually meets someone special. Ironically, a smaller infant dragon. While fighting what seemed to be its parent, this wasn't immediately obvious to the warrior and thought the infant was its prey, which is why he wanted to save it. The two dragons look completely different in appearance, not only in size, but more importantly, one emanated an aura of evil while the other one was pure of heart. Buster Blader damaged the evil dragon just enough so that him and his new friend could get away before fleeing for safety with the dragon infant in his arms. It was unlike the warrior at first because never in his wildest dreams would he ever think he'd be taking sympathy to a creature he would usually battle and slay. Charmed by its harmless appearance, Buster Blader did not see the whelp as an enemy. For the first time in his life, he treated another dragon as a companion and even as his own family, looking after it and taking care of it. However, Buster Blader's heart wasn't all pure. He also wanted to train the dragon and to fight alongside with him one day. He realized that if he could control the strength of a dragon, he would be more unstoppable. So he decided to take the whelp along with him on his various battles. He continued to fight different enemies and craft weapons from their drops and eventually he even got the whelp to fight alongside with him, teaching it how to wield the very same weapons, i.e. the ones he crafted from the remains of their opponents. One day, the warrior noticed something strange. After another typical win, he took the materials back home so that he can craft a new sword for his little friend. But as he presented the newly crafted sword to Welp, he noticed a dark aura began engulfing the young dragon. The aura was there for a brief moment, but it disappeared. With each battle and with each new weapon, the young dragon matured and became more powerful. As it grew, more darkness started surrounding it, showing a more toned firm and scales which visibly got darker as each day passed by. After a long period of maturation, it eventually became Buster Dragon, increasing in size and taking on a more dark grey color. It was then that Buster Blader knew for sure that it was the same kind of dragon as he encountered previously. However, the dragon was still loyal to him, even supplying Buster Blader with the weapons they forged together and fighting alongside with him in battle. The warrior continued to think nothing of it, thinking that he successfully domesticated and tamed his very own dragon, despite its changed appearance and increased viciousness. Eventually, he had to come face to face with reality, and by then, it was already too late. The dragon became fully corrupted and can no longer be controlled by Buster Blader. It turned against him, going off in an uncontrollable frenzy. As he drew his sword, he wondered why it gave into the darkness and why it would turn his back against him. He tried talking some sense into the dragon, but eventually he had no choice but to fight it. Perhaps by defeating it, Buster Blader thought he could try once again to get through his friend who he knew deep down was still in there. So fiercely, they fought in one final clash. Buster Blader was able to knock Buster Dragon out and fortunately, he could still hear its heart beating and its breath. He sank his blade into the earth, crouching to what was once Buster Whelp and the young dragon he cared for. As he talked to Buster Dragon, the darkness started to fade away from within it, but he could feel its pulse slow down and he knew Buster Dragon did not have much longer. Buster Blader was so hungry for strength and power that it disregarded any feelings the Whelp may have had for such killings. He forgot what kind of influence he had on the young creature and eventually, it was Buster Blader's bloodshed that corrupted this innocent creature. And so, even if this little guy was the only one that he loved, its blood was shed by the warrior's hands. Time was ticking, and Buster Dragon was slowly fading away. Buster Blader wanted to remember all the times they shared, not as a dead adornment on his equipment like every foe he defeated like a trophy. There was only one way that Buster Dragon could partially live on, and that was if Buster Blader fused with it. And so, 
the warrior infused the dragon's soul in himself instead of scavenging his companion's carcass afterwards like every other foe. He opted for the choice that he would leave Buster Dragon with the most dignity to abort its entire essence so that their memories together would never die. In this way, Buster Dragon's soul and power could flow through Buster Blader and in a way, they could always be fighting alongside with each other.